What is going on YouTube Sharp here, bringing you guys another video and today I'm going to be doing a QA. and a I tweeted out saying use hashtag AskSharp for a chance to be in the video. I'm going to try to get to most of the questions that you guys ask me on Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, follow me, Sharp underscore TK. Let's try to get this video 5,000 likes. If so, I'll eat this water bottle. Like the video. Okay, the first question comes from Frog Daddy. He says, favorite meme. So it's funny you ask me what my favorite meme is because your name is Frog Daddy. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Pepe memes. I'm, I hate that they made it into a racist thing. I have people, I used to have a Pepe hanging on my wall and they're like, yo, Sharp's racist now. He's got Pepe on his wall. But other than that, I would, the Joe Biden memes. Joe Biden memes are funny as fuck. I like reading those. Nova Elite and Geo5899, these are kind of the same. He, Geo asks, how can I join TK? Nova says, will there be a Team Caliber recruitment challenge? Believe it or not, I know you guys probably look at me as a, as a big part of Team Caliber, but I do not handle recruitment at all. The only time I've ever recruited the people to TK is when I was on the pro team, I was a captain of that, and that's when I would bring other people in. But as far as designers, you know, YouTubers, streamers, whatever, I don't handle any of that at all. I'm pretty sure like we let Ham and Justin handle that, mostly Ham. So I'm not saying go hit up Ham, but he is the guy that is handles most of the recruitment stuff. So I don't handle, handle any of that at all. I get a lot of tweets about it, you know, how do I join TK, and I'm just like, bro, I don't... Fuck, I don't know. Swift Titan asks, when did you join TK? 2013 when TK was started. I've been here, I'm a day one. OC underscore, I don't even know if I'm reading that right. It says, favorite part of the new TK G Fuel house. My favorite part of the house probably just is the fact that one, it's a bigger house, it's in a better area, and there's a lot more people that are gonna be living here, and there's a lot more people that are around, like Crispy's girlfriend's around, uh, and Crispy's roommate, Asha. She's been in some of K-House's videos, she's been in some of the vlogs, and a lot of you guys in my videos are like, yo, it's the videographer in the serial video, but no, she lives with Rachel, so she comes around. So there's just like a lot more people, and it just seems like we're doing more shit and, and hanging out more. So I, I definitely like that aspect of it and my room. My room is fucking dope I got a big-ass room fucking kitchen ham was like joking. He's like yo He's like that's fat shaming. How are they gonna give the fat guy the room with the kitchen and nebula asks, have you ever been caught jerking off by your roommates? No MTYT2215 asks, will chaos ever have sex? Yo You ever gonna have sex? I'm sorry. Are you ever gonna have sex? <laughs> wait, 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 what's am I ever gonna have me? Like like, you're, you're asking me when? No. Is it ever going to happen? I mean, if I say it is, it, it, I might jinx myself and it might not, so I can't really tell you, like, that I am because, like, I might not, but I might. So when I do, I might not, but I might. What kind of fucking answer is that, bro? This guy asked me for the Q&A. Yes or no? All right, that's it. Another great part about this house is being right next door to Chaos's room to go fuck with him. DRH. 1738 sent me a pic a drawing. I'm guessing he drew the he or she drew this. Yo, that's a dope ass drawing. It's cell. The final form. Yo, I fuck I fuck with Dragon Ball Z and I fuck with fan art. So that's a that's a good ass drawing. By the way, I think Justin went and set up the P.O. box today. So that information will probably be in the vlog and I'll start putting it in my videos like in the description. So if you guys ever want to send this fan art, I fuck with fan art. I need some shit to hang on my walls. Sharp, what is your favorite single player game? I mean, if we're going all the way back, Mario 64, probably my favorite single player game. Uh, or I, I was a big fan of the Donkey Kong game. Remember the yellow cartridge game that you got for Nintendo 64? Uh, and that and Banjo-Kazooie. But if we're talking like recent, Intel Dawn was a fun game to play. It was a Telltale. It was a Telltale game. I always hate saying Telltale. Fucking, how the fuck do you even say that? That was a fun game to play, and uh, The Last of Us, I streamed that, and I played that game all the way through, which I'm excited, because the second one's coming out, which means I'll have to do another Last of Us stream. Yo, my hair probably, I mean, my hair always looks fucked, but I was just playing H1, and I had a headset on, so that's my excuse. I could throw a hat on, but I don't give a fuck at this point. Robert Bacon Boy 3 says, what are you planning on doing for the future of TK? I don't know if you're asking me personally, or all of us as a group. Uh, I feel like right now we're just kind of trying to focus on putting TK on the map. But I would like to see TK expand into other esports. And, and not really how, how we did before, where we got a CSGO team and a Gears team. And, you know, people are, people are asking, me, oh, why the fuck did you guys get these teams? Like, I'm trying to be on some Optic and Envy shit where our teams are, like, in the finals all the time. And where I'm sitting here, you know, yo, check out our CSGO team. We're on fucking TBS right now. Charles Barkley commentating. Charles Barkley ain't going to be commentating that shit. But... I would like to see TK get to that point. Is my face changing colors because Chaos fucked with my shit? SS Sniper Wolfing asks, day or night? I'm more of a night person. I, I like the nighttime. Um, it's just, I feel like it's more of a chill vibe during the night. I guess, I guess it really depends. I don't want to sit here and say I like both because that's just kind of a fucking bitch move. But uh, there are some times when it, it, there hasn't been daylight 
you know, for a couple days, and I just feel like shit. I'm like, fuck, I need some daylight. But I would definitely, I definitely prefer the night. I stay up pretty much until the sun comes up and I go to sleep at that time. If you could only eat one food and drink one drink for all of 2017, what would they be? Uh, without dying <laughs> from eating it? I would probably say like a bowl from, from like Chipotle or like a Willie's bowl or something like that for the food. I eat that and it's not something that makes me feel sick after I've eaten it. You know if you eat pizza sometimes you're like, damn, I feel like a piece of shit. Maybe that's just me, you know, big, big person lifestyle. For the drink, I would have to go with water. Favorite teammate within your competitive career, this has come from Domi Zaya. I would have to go with Goonjar. Has there ever been a point where you've wanted to quit YouTube? This has come from Dank Pop Tart 23 uh, no, there hasn't. I mean, there's been points where I've taken breaks. For those of you guys that have been subbed to me for a long time, there has been a lot of points where I just, you know, have st not uploaded for like a full month. And I feel really bad about that, but that doesn't really mean I've, I've ever wanted to quit because I've never done YouTube until now as like a full-time job. YouTube's always kind of been a hobby, which is kind of still a hobby for me. I mean, it is the way I make my income, but I still, I try not to look at it as a job. I don't know. I've, I've just never gotten so discouraged. Even right now, like right now, some videos you upload, so the videos I upload right now, some of them, you know, will get 60,000 views and then some of them will only get like 20,000. That doesn't mean I'm like, fuck, fuck this, man. I'm done here because I've been, I've, I've had like almost 1,400 videos uploaded on my channel and you know, I've uploaded videos where they've gotten 200 views. So I look at the 20,000, I'm like, yo, I could be getting 200. So, you know, let's 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 calm down a bit. But I, I, do I get discouraged sometimes? Yes. Do I ever think about quitting? No. What's the most saddest memory of your childhood or your happy, happiest memory? I feel like I have a lot more happy memories than sad. So I'm gonna go with the sad one. Uh, this one, I mean, all right, one of them's from my childhood. I guess my, my grandpa dying. I, I never really knew my grandma. I, I didn't really know my dad's parents at all. Um, and my mom's parents, my mom, my grandma died when I was two and my grandpa died when I was about, I want to say I was like eight or nine. Um, and that was definitely sad, but I feel like I was too young to like actually feel the whole comp, like the whole like reality of what was happening. So I would have to say two years ago, I had a dog that died and that was the first time I'd ever like had someone or someone or something. I, I consider a dog or someone, uh, close to me die. And it wasn't like, I have a dog now that's like blind, going blind and deaf and I don't know how much longer she's going to be alive, but this dog died when she was seven. She was seven years old and that's like, that's young for, it was a Shih Tzu and it was young for a Shih Tzu and that's why it was so sad to me because it was like, she was, she was such a happy dog and it was, it, I don't know, it was just, I, I guess I'm getting sad right now thinking about it. It'll make me cry during the video, but now that we're all fucking crying, if you could trade places with any YouTuber, who would it be? I mean, just trading places on channels? I guess I would say PewDiePie, because this guy's talking about deleting this shit at 50 million. Who the fuck, who is this guy? Trading lives and where they live? I wouldn't trade my life with anyone. I, I love my life. Have you ever cursed at someone you're going up against at a COD tournament? This comes from Caleb TK. Uh, fun fact, so a lot of you guys tweet me videos of shit talk, you know, Call of Duty compilation top 10 shit talks. And you'll see Neslo and Clayster in the video, and you'll see Neslo, and you'll see Theory, and everyone's standing up talking shit. I'm usually just sitting there, like, chilling. Because I've learned, there was one time I talked shit. Uh, I, like, stood up, I was like, you guys fucking choked, I ah, like, get shit on. And they ended up winning the whole series, and then I was just sitting there like, fuck, dude, like, I'm never talking shit again. Which do you like more, H1 or MWR? Haven't really been able to play MWR recently because of the internet. Uh, H1 is a really fun game. That's probably my favorite game right now. I'm loving it. I'm just loving the fact that I'm, like, I started out really bad at it, and now I feel like I'm getting better to where, you know, I can go in and get, like, five to seven kills a game if I really, if I like really tried and I found a lot of people, like before I would go in, I couldn't even get a kill. I just get gunned. Now I'm seeing people and I'm like out gunning them and out playing them. And, and that's just really fun to me. And MWR is just, it's a classic game. I can't wait for them to add the rest of the maps. Um, so I can't, they're, they're two different games. You can't really compare them, but H1 is definitely my favorite game right now. This is from Noob Slider. What would you do if fans showed up to the TK house? I mean, honestly, I would probably, I wouldn't be a dick to him and tell him like, get the fuck out of here. I'm calling the cops. Like, yeah. If you showed up to the house and you, you were being cool and was like, yo, I just wanted to meet you guys, like I just want to take a picture and you know have you sign something, I, I would sign it and I would say, all right, like I, we can't have you guys just coming over to the house, so that it's over, it's done. Because I, I look at it from my standpoint, I don't even think I'm, I'm famous. People think I'm famous. I don't think I'm fucking famous, but if like. If Drake lived next door to me, you best believe I'm going to this guy's house and I'm copping an OVO sweater and I'm having him sign this shit. 
And I mean, I'm not gonna like fucking bug him though. That's the thing. I wouldn't keep going to his house like, yo, what are we doing tonight, Drake? What up? Like, I would go there get something signed because I think when I was a little kid, I had a professional football player. I don't even know. Who, I don't even remember what his name was. He played for the Bears. And he lived in my neighborhood. I remember going to his house. My friend wanted me to go to his house and get a football sign. I went and rang his doorbell. I was like, yo, can you sign this? And have him sign a football. And that was it. And I just think of it like that. Like, I'm grateful that someone wants my autograph and someone wants to take a picture of me. So if you come up to me, I'm not going to tell you to fuck off. Some of the stories I hear from YouTubers are people coming around just making noise and being a nuisance. Like, that's fucked up. But if you just go to someone's house and ask for a picture and them sign something, like, that shouldn't be a big deal. I don't know. To me, that's not a big deal. I don't know. I guess because I look at it, without you guys, I, there would be no Sharp TK. If I didn't have people watching my videos and I didn't have fans, then there would be no, I wouldn't be able to do this. What do you hate most about the house? This is from Trility49. I would say what I hate most about the house is probably the driveway. Other than that, the house is nice, but the driveway for how many cars we have is not really a good setup. There is a three car garage, but you gotta do some like crazy three point turns to get the fuck out of this driveway where before, you know, we had the driveway that swung around the front and it was it was pretty simple, but this driveway is like, oh shit. And it's like an uphill, I never back out of this bitch. I don't have a backup cam in my car. You know, when I'm backing out of this driveway at night and you can't see shit, I'm in the fucking lawn. I'm like flipping over trees and shit. It's, it's hectic. My homie Twiz says, how do you feel about sharing the same birthday with the great Twizini? Pretty sure me and Twiz are like the exact same age. Like we were both born on December 16th and we're the same age. I've known this guy forever and, and every single birthday I'm like, yo, gotta tweet Twiz, happy birthday. Cause we got the same fucking birthday. So it is cool that another pro, me and another pro share the same birthday. Boss Waffle says, what is your favorite PewDiePie video? Probably his car, his car video where he, he drove around that piece of shit car and was just making fun of all the people that do, you know, new car videos. Uh, this is from Orchard EU. Favorite song from J. Cole's new album. I guess right now I would say Immortal is probably my favorite song, but that might change. I, I think Forest Hill is still the better album. Um, this album just kind of has more of like a chill vibe to it. But I still think it's good so far. I I'll have to listen to it more to give a, to give a thorough. V. Zodi says, what is your favorite song? I feel like that's hard to answer. I would have to say like my favorite song of this year might be No Problem by chance. I don't know. Comment down below. What's your guys' favorite songs? That's pretty much it for the Q&A. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, and as always, this is your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.